my family and I visited one of the most fascinating of the Smithsonian Museums. Located in Chantilly, Virginia, the Stephen F. Udvar Hazy Center, a companion of the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C., is a huge two-hanger collection of over 3,000 aviation and space artifacts. The SR-71 Blackbird was one of my favorite exhibits. There's a kiosk for a real-time virtual Q&A session with a live person. Fun fact, in 1976, the SR-71 set the world record as the fastest air-breathing manned aircraft, a record that still stands today. Did I mention how big this place is? Just look at the collection of drones, planes, and helicopters. The Boeing Aviation Hangar and the McDonald's Space Hangar are two parts of a 760,000 square foot collection of aeronautical history, and all of it comfortably accessible. With its system of ramps and elevators, the museum makes it easier to navigate for wheelchairs and strollers. One of my favorite sections of the museum is the James S. McDonald Space Hangar, where, on the right-hand side, Neil Armstrong's spacesuit is there to greet you. As a fan of science fiction and special effects, I was surprised to find the mothership from the film Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And speaking of sci-fi... As a small child, I was very fascinated with everything NASA. The Apollo missions captured my curiosity and inspired imagination. Seeing these items up close triggered a flood of boyhood memories. Without a doubt, the Space Shuttle Discovery was my favorite exhibit. In its early days, I didn't miss a shuttle launch, if I could avoid it. I'd be sitting in front of the TV, counting down with the announcers, waiting to hear the words confirming what was visible, we have liftoff. And just as exciting as the launch was the return of the spacecraft. I really got a kick out of examining the weathered nature of the orbiter, which flew 39 flights between 1984 and 2011. This B-29 Superfortress, Enola Gay, dropped the first atomic weapon used in combat. From fixed to rotary wing, in every other kind of flying machine, this place has it all. You will find the Udvar Hazy Center the perfect spot for any fan of aviation and history. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to Dove Life.